Here's what's actually inside the PlayStation 5. Call it Seto Kaiba's jacket, call it Eva from Wally, call it a portal turret, but no matter what you call the PlayStation 5, you can no longer call it Shrouded in Mystery. On Wednesday, Sony Interactive Entertainment shared an official teardown video in which the VP of Mechanical Design, Yasuhiro Otori, disassembled the gargantuan next-gen console to show us what exactly is underneath its black and white hood. This 7-minute video is peppered with crunchy tech specs and details about how exactly Sony's new console is constructed. Standing 104 millimeters wide, 390 millimeters tall, and 260 millimeters deep, or approximately 4 inches wide, 15 inches high, and 10 inches deep, if you're nasty, the PlayStation 5 is thick as hell, but there's a good reason for that. Because between all of the gigabytes and teraflops of it all, this video finally answers the question of why this console is so damn big, and the answer is that Sony listened to their fans, especially the ones who no longer want to listen to their PlayStation's fans. So there's a truly massive heatsink and a cooling fan that take up substantial real estate inside the console, designed to make it run cooler and quieter. Likewise, the Blu-ray drive is encased in sheet metal with insulation inside to reduce vibration noise, and if you own a PlayStation 4, you immediately know what a quality of life improvement this is going to be. Because nothing feels worse than going to play your new game or watch a movie, putting in your PS4, and hearing what sounds like a series of primal screams from demons inside some sort of technological hellscape, followed by a thousand helicopters circling your living room in particular. So clearly airflow and cooling are A1 priorities for Sony this console generation. Rather than the standard thermal paste, the CPU itself is cooled by liquid metal, which in my mind means there's a tiny Alex Mac inside my console whose Sisyphean task is to keep my GPU and CPU icy cool while I play Cyberpunk 2077. Meanwhile, on the exterior of the console, the entire rear side is an exhaust port and there are multiple dust catching ports built into the console that you can actually vacuum, so hopefully that'll keep your console clean and happy as well. In addition to explaining all of these chill new cooling innovations inside the PlayStation 5, Otori showed off the high-speed USB Type-C and Type-A ports on the console's front, the former of which might hint at the next generation of PlayStation VR, especially in light of Sony's comments to CNET that the current generation of PlayStation VR is compatible with the PS5. That said, the back boasts even more USB Type-A ports, a LAN port, HDMI port, and power port as well. Port. The console's vaunted solid-state drive boasts 825 gigabytes of storage, and it's actually soldered onto the CPU, which means it can transfer data at a blisteringly fast 5.5 gigabytes per second. Now that said, the console offers options for expandable storage in the form of an M2 interface with PCIe 4.0 support as well. Now as for the CPU, it's an 8-core, 16-thread AMD Ryzen using Zen 2 architecture that can run up to 3.5 GHz. Meanwhile, the GPU is an AMD Radeon that runs up to 2.23 GHz and offers you 10.3 teraflops. That's right, flopheads! 10.3 Terry boys! If that means anything to you, if it's deeply confusing, just know it means the system will load games quickly, run them smoothly, and look good doing so. Run fast, look pretty. So one of the most surprising things about this video, though, is that those giant white panels on the exterior that have been the subject of so, so many memes are very easily removed. That means that probably consumers will be able to purchase custom plates in the future so they can mix and match, kind of like what you can do with your Switch controllers. As for how you orient your console, that's a slightly more challenging proposition. This new generation of consoles is hell-bent on getting you to stand them up vertically. That said, both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X can be placed on their side, but for the PS5, this video demonstrates that you need to remove a screw that holds a base in place if you want to put it vertically and move it to a different place on the console to support that move from vertical to horizontal. It's a minor inconvenience in the grand scheme of things, but Xbox wasted no time in dunking on their competition with a tweet demonstrating the Xbox Series X's highly advanced technique of simply turning your console 90 degrees. Yeah. Just some basic math for you. So the bigger drama here beyond pre-orders getting snatched up before customers could actually check out with them and their cards is something that's going to affect specifically Japanese PlayStation users, nearly 10 million of them. While we in the West use the X button as our default action button to make selections, X marks the spot, in Japan they've used the circle button since 1994. 
Now, as Kotaku reports, this is now changing after 26 years, much to the chagrin of Japanese gamers. For context, in Japan, circle or madu is the symbol used to mean okay or correct, whereas X, known as batsu or cross, has connotations of not good or false. Naturally, this is going to create a lot of confusion as gamers have to retrain their brains and decades of muscle memory to conform to this new global standard. Now, the PlayStation 5 will release on November 12th in the US, Canada, Japan, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea, with other markets to follow on November 19th. It will cost $499 for the full edition with disk drive and $399 for the digital edition that has no disk drive. While PlayStation 5 pre-orders are currently sold out, Sony is confident they will have enough units to satisfy consumer demand at launch and in the months ahead. But as with anything pertaining to a brand new console launch, only time will tell. The bigger challenge, it seems, will be figuring out how the ever-loving hell I'm going to fit this into my existing living room setup. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you think of all of this? Were you surprised to learn what exactly is underneath the hood of the PlayStation 5? Which next-gen console are you going to get, and why? Let's discuss in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure that you stay tuned to Nerdist.com.